Hello everyone, this is Brian McEnany, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service located in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today is Wednesday, January 29th, 2014, and this is a mountain weather briefing for use with snow safety planning and for the mountain community. So this is the overall January weather pattern, and if you look at this feature here with the mouse, this is a big high pressure, and during the height of the, the highest extension of this, it's gone up to the northern part of Alaska, and it's come down a little bit south of Baja. And this weather feature has been shunting all of the weather north of it, and then it brings it down to the southeast part of the U.S. and then up the east coast. This is what we've seen through most of January. Now we're going to see this image. And the high pressure, which is this, this uh, clockwise rotating weather feature here, has moved out over the Pacific and gone a little bit south and gotten smaller. But what we see here is a, a westerly flow pattern that's bringing storms into our area. And this is what we're seeing right now. And this is very good. It's good to have the high pressure out of the way. So let's take a look at what we're expecting with this winter storm. For the northern Wasatch, snow totals about 10 to 20 inches with an inch to two inches of water. It's going to start Wednesday. It's going to end up on Friday evening. And then we look at the central Wasatch, a little bit more snow, 18 to 24 inches with water amounts 1.5 to 2.5 inches. And that time frame again is Wednesday evening through Friday evening. Now when we look at the Uinta mountain range, we see 10 to 20 inches with one to two inches of water, again the same time frame. If we look at it a little more specifically for the northern Wasatch, the greatest snow intensity is going to occur Wednesday evening and night. We're going to see peak snowfall rates about two inches per hour, and the snow at the level of onset is 8,500 feet, quite high. Below that, we're going to see a lot of rain. Um, until it starts changing into snow, we're going to see snow down to the um, the valley bottoms, it's going to have rain up to 8,500 feet. And this is probably the biggest factor in this storm besides your typical winter storm. And as temperatures get colder, our new snow safety density trends are going to be decreasing. I mean, it's going to get lighter. When we look at winds, we're going to start off about 75 mile an hour gusts out of the west at 6 p.m. Wednesday. That's going to go through Wednesday night into Thursday and then things are going to drop off pretty significant 50s 40s for gusts maybe 40s 30s and down into some air about 20 miles per hour during that time and this is the northern wasatch when we look at the central wasatch the greatest snow intensity is wednesday evening through wednesday night at peak snowfall rates of two inches per hour again we're going to see rain up to 8500 feet and the snow density trends are going to decrease we can also see winds 75 mile an hour gusts really through Wednesday night into Thursday morning and then things are going to decrease also. Winds are going to shift from the west to the northwest. The Uinta Mountains, more of the same, 2 inches per hour Wednesday evening at night. Rain up to 8,500 feet with decreasing snow density trends and the winds will also look very, very similar. So there you have it. If you want to contact us, any one of these will work just fine. Facebook, Twitter, email, or if you'd like to get additional information, try the Utah Avalanche Center. They do a very good job with this, and this is what they do. This is Brian McInerney. I do appreciate you taking the time, and we'll go with that. Thank you.